Hi everyone, today I'm going to be showing you how to find the right circuit breaker that controls your power outlet or light fixture. The only tool you'll need for this is an electronic circuit breaker finder. An electronic circuit breaker finder like this one that Kai Weitz was kind enough to send over has two parts. This one I'm holding here is the receiver, and this one that has a power plug on it is the transmitter. This transmitter has a built-in power outlet tester, but its main function is to transmit a radio frequency signal through the electrical wires when it's plugged in. This causes the wire to act as an antenna, and then this receiver can be used to pick up that radio frequency signal. These two work together to help you find the right circuit breaker. Now let's get started locating that circuit breaker. The first step is to plug in the transmitter to your power outlet. If you're working on an older building with ungrounded outlets or if you're testing a light fixture, you can use these adapters to plug in the transmitter. Otherwise, it just plugs directly into a standard three-prong outlet. Make sure that the transmitter is actively transmitting. On this one, there's this little animation on the screen that tells me that the signal is being sent over the wires. And as you can see here, the receiver works like this to pick up the signal. Now let's go to the circuit breaker panel and start scanning it. At the breaker panel, first turn on your circuit breaker finder, then slowly scan the panel from top to bottom like this. This initial scan allows the microprocessor inside the circuit breaker finder to basically learn the layout of the panel, therefore you can ignore any beeps or lights during this step. Now that the receiver has had a chance to learn the circuit breaker panel's layout, you can do a second scan, this time paying close attention to any beeps or lights. That large 200 amp breaker is the main breaker and it did cause a little beep, however, this smaller one down here, the 15 amp one, is really setting off the receiver. That means that more than likely we have found the correct circuit breaker. After turning it off, there's no more beeps from the receiver, so this confirms that we have found the correct one. And as you can see here, after turning it back on, the receiver starts beeping again. Once you have found the correct circuit breaker, you can then turn it off and start working on your project. If you keep getting random beeps from your receiver, try scanning the other side of the circuit breaker panel. As you can see here, I got much more accurate results while scanning the right side. After shutting off the circuit breaker, double check that the power is off by using a multimeter. Now you're ready to start your project. I hope you found this video helpful. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you did. I'll have a link to buy the circuit breaker finder in the description, and I'll see you all next time.